Hey guys, I feel like it's been forever um, since I posted something. Um, I just, I feel like it was like, um, I've been, I've been looking at my post history for YouTube and I seriously, I think I've been posting about once a month now, but it was seriously, that's how uh, infrequent stuff was. And I couldn't just justify putting up a vlog when I had absolutely nothing to share. Um, but I, I think um, things are looking up because I actually have news. I finally, after what? Like four months, least four months, finally got a hold of Duo. I'm like, I know they've been doing a staff, they have a massive, um, they've had some staff reshuffling, which the client manager left, and it was like, um, we were given a contact because there are clients that have dogs that need the client contact. We were given a contact and then nothing. I, ca I called them yesterday. And I didn't even get anybody on the phone. Well, finally, the lady that is our contact for now, um, which is like the organization manager or something, I forget what her job title is. Um, but she finally got back to me and I'm like, she's like, sorry, I, I, that she meant to get back to me and I guess I got lost in the shuffle which I kind of expected because Duo's been all over the place since they opened back up um, after the lockdown. I expected them, give them a couple months, get their um, feet back under them to get the business up and running. And it's like, good grief. She finally got back to me and then she's like, okay, we need to see where things are at. They've, they've won uh, the team trainings back on for the out-of-state clients. And it's like, thank God, something's going. And then, um, and then they're like, okay, she's like, can we meet um, to do a Zoom meeting? in June and I'm like sure sure um and then I gave her a time and then she zinged me back after five and said perfect see you then and then it's like nobody gets back to me after five usually on a weekday because that's when most businesses close and um so the fact that she got back to me right away told me she was either still at her desk or she hadn't left the building yet. And it's like, finally people are moving. But I think that's like the, um, the case with a lot of businesses right now. Even now they're still getting their feet back um, under them because they have, it's not just that we're out of lockdown, we're out of kind of the people being really cautious. So businesses are like ramping back up. And Duo is like a well-oiled machine. I don't know if I mentioned this in my other vlogs, but the but even though they're a non-for-profit, they're like, they're like a well-oiled machine. They had a boatload of volunteers and they had, um, and they have a very small staff. So it's like, so the fact that they're, so that got all disrupted during COVID and the fact how they managed to breed a litter in 2020 when stuff was all over the place, you know, and those puppies are up and doing fine. And it's like, good grief. Um, I, I just don't know how they managed to get stuff going because it's like 
with them being all over the place and the staffing being what it was, um, I don't know. But I was like, I, it was so much of a relief to hear back from them um, because I haven't heard from them since Pamela sent all the wait listed clients an email and said, I'm leaving, here's your new contact. And it's like, great. Now what? And I was also waiting for them to contact me to tell me that the team training was back on for the out-of-state clients because the only clients that they were taking and placing the dogs were the people within driving distance in St. Louis, which I am not. I'm close to St. Louis, but I am not in the general vicinity of St. Louis. I'm far enough away I'm considered I'm obviously out-of-state. So, um, but it's like, it's like, finally, so hopefully in June, which is within maybe a week or two, um, I should have some answers from the Zoom meeting and I'll, uh, and I'll, update you guys then um, and see what they actually say. They meant to, well, they meant to, um, I was expecting them to Zoom me um, before I went down for training last time and they never did. Um, well, I think, no, what happened last time was when I said, when they said video call, I thought they meant um, I had to, um, I thought they were gonna video me for a chat with the trainers at some point uh, before I went down there last time and then they ended up calling me for training. But I never heard back from the trainers. They're like, let's assess this, this, and this. And I sent the videos and um, the last thing I did for them, uh, who was that? I don't even remember when I sent that stuff. I think it was it had to have been last summer, I think, where I sent the videos after my surgery and when the lift put it, was put in. And that was in May. Yeah, it was in May because I had just finished my, I was, I had recovered from surgery by then. It was May, June after my surgery it was the last time they were supposed to, um, they said they'd get back to me and they never did. Um, and that, I think that was slightly before they had opened up, but they never got back to me. And I think that was when they started having all the, uh, staffing issues. Anyway, I am, um, I'm set to, um, Zoom meet with them on the 8th. So that's, um, that, that will be great and that'll be a good update. Uh, for me so I'll know what we're doing and when I can actually go back down there I don't know if they'll have a time when I can go back down there by the time we meet up on zoom I'm hoping they do that by the end of this they can say this is where you're at we can take you in another month so knock on wood hopefully that's it because um, I would actually like to go see the Jonas Brothers this year and I don't want to schedule anything as far as any more concerts other than the one that I had scheduled until I know roughly when I'm going down to St. Louis, at least the rough time frame. So until then, um, I will keep you guys posted and hopefully this is the first of a lot of videos. So until next time, this is Service Dog Diaries signing off.